Domenico Valentina ranked very highly. Has beat Branimir Stankovic of Serbia by a score of 26 to 23 to get here today. He's 27 years old. He's 173 centimeters tall. His opponent, Miklos Varga, 24 years old. Boxing for Harangi Imre SC Club from Haju Samen, Hungary. The referee for the bout is Shanguli Merantiarov. The judges, Bognavicius, good movement, looking for a way to get inside that long jab of Valentino. It's going to be a tough to do. That will probably be the name of the game for Varga to get through that jab of Valentino. Once he does, he gets into the pressure zone for Valentino. Certainly, Valentino doesn't feel as safe when a boxer is in his pressure zone, and he will throw Valentino off his game, which clearly is to stick and move from the outside and beat his man on points through effective boxing and good scoring technique. So we're halfway through the first round. Valentino sticking to his game plan. Varga trying to find his way through. The crowd in here awfully loud here at the Haydar Alia Sports Complex. This is the 2011 Aiba World Boxing Championships in Ring B evening session, Wednesday, October 5, 2011. Nice right hand by Valentino, or excuse me, by Varga. And now Varga's backing up a little bit and letting Valentino throw that jab out there. Valentino's shown very good movement, great footwork. Look at the lateral movement by Valentino. He's not standing in one idle position, making himself an easy target for Varga. On the contrary, he's constantly moving, making it very difficult for Varga to place his punches. You see, when the boxer is moving like that left and right, the way Valentino is, Varga has to continuously turn in order to find him. And when he has to turn, he has to replant his feet in order to throw an effective shot. By the time he finally replants his feet and gets ready to throw a punch, Valentino's in a new spot, starting the vicious cycle all over again for Varga. Meanwhile, Valentino having the opportunities to pot shot his man since he's the one who knows where he's going to be. So right now, Valentino having a decisive advantage, so it would seem, by boxing smart on the outside, using his long jab effectively. And you could see the score now after round one, 10 to three for the Italian. Take a look back at that replay from the last round and we'll see exactly what was just being discussed. do the same thing he's been doing. Box on the outside. Effective use of the jab. Great footwork. Lateral movement. Varga needs to get inside. And the way he needs to do that is by using his feet, not his hands. His hands will come when he gets into position. He needs to bob. He needs to weave. He needs to get underneath that jab. And most importantly, he needs to cut off the ring. He can't let Valentino go where Valentino wants to go. He has to go he rather, he has to send Valentino where he wants Valentino to go. The way he does that is, as you see there, Valentino wants to go left, so he goes right. He's got to go further right than Valentino's willing to go to send Valentino back left. Then he's got to go left to send Valentino right. And he's got to keep doing that as he gets closer. Valentino can only go so far. There are ropes behind him on every side of the ring. Once he cuts him off effectively and gets him close, he needs to start ripping shots to the body 
and bobbing and weaving away from that jab, just like that. Now he's inside. This is where Varga wants to be. Valentino, of course, pushes him off. He doesn't want him that close. Varga needs to stay on Valentino's chest and keep pounding away, slowing him down with body shots. The headshots will come once he's slowing down his man. It's not an easy task for young Miklos Varga. However, it's necessary if he wants to come out on top. Nice right hand. Varga needs to stay there, stay close, stay on top of him like a vest. Valentino, wisely, going to step back and box from the outside. He does not want to exchange with Varga, not because he can't stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, it's because he need not. All he has to do is rack up points from the outside and he will float and sail to an easy victory. Big right hand by Valentino now, and down goes Varga. That right hand was set up by the left jab of Valentino. Throughout the first four, five minutes of this bout, Valentino's jab was being used defensively. There you saw it get used offensively, and again right there. The one-two combination is one of the most effective in boxing, and it's the most simple. The one being the jab, the two being the overhand right. There's a left hook, a baby hook. That's the five punch by Valentino. And there's a big right hand, and now Valentino. Varga able to get inside there. You notice as soon as Valentino got off his game plan of jabbing and started trading with Varga just a minute, Varga was able to get inside and throw the big right hand with good effectiveness to Valentino's chin. Now Varga has himself up against the ropes with Valentino pushing on him. However, Valentino will go back to what's comfortable, stay on the outside, and probably have increased the margin of this of this bout double fold. And the scores are written now. The Italian has gone up to 20, while the Hungarian is at nine. 20 to nine, Domenico Valentino over Miklos Varga. He will sail to an easy victory unless Varga can stem the flow. in the third round. There's the score right there, round by round. 10 to three and 10 to six. Varga did a slightly more effective job coming, coming in in the second round. He was able to score six points, whereas he only had three in the first. However, it's just not gonna be enough. This rate, he needs to do more. We'll see whether or not Varga got a game plan, or rather, rather rather his corner has a game plan for him, you know. It's not his fault, per se, that he can't get in there. It's a very difficult task, and it partly has to do with the tools you're given. Varga's height disadvantage is a big problem for him here. His reach disadvantage is a big problem for him here. And Valentino has found a way to use his God-given gifts to perfection. Even if Varga were using his tools to perfection, a good boxer, the rule says, always beats a good puncher. Now, of course, always needs to be put in italics, itali italics, excuse me, because always is a very long time. It has a notion of permanency to it, and it's clearly not the case that a boxer always beats a puncher. But the rule, the better money, if money were to be waged on the notion who wins, a boxer or a, pinch, a puncher, the smarter money should go on the boxer. That's what Valentino is. He's boxing from the outside. Varga, built like a puncher, fights like a puncher. Unfortunately, he's up against some really stiff competition and Domenico Valentino. A wild right hand by Varga falls short and Valentino, Valentino walks to the opposite corner as the referee cautions Varga about using his head. A little over a minute left. Valentino 
going to stay right there in the pocket now and clinch. He doesn't need to do much. He just needs to stay out of harm's way. Don't do anything foolish. Don't get caught with a, a big, powerful shot by Varga that could hurt him. Now, Valentino holding on to the gloves of Varga and the referee gonna, going to portion Varga about that. And now Valentino is just going to basically stay away on the outside as he ought to at this point. Continue to box, keep his hands up. No need to showboat, no need to drop his hands. He could just keep his hands up and let Varga continue to bring the fight to him and jab accordingly. He doesn't need to get caught with a big right hand by Varga. Now Varga has Valentino in the corner, not where Valentino wants to be. And Varga is gonna wrap him up here. A little over 20 seconds. A looping left hook by Varga, sells over the head of Valentino, and that's gonna do it for this bout. Domenico Valentino has himself an easy victory here over Mikos Varga. Here you have a 27 to 13, Domenico Valentino is the winner, and he moves on to the semifinals on Friday. If you look at some of the action here from that last round. And here it is again, Domenico acting like the boxer that he is, staying on the outside, using his jab very effectively, and winning the contest with ease.